wherever you are, man, your your internet is on point. Hey, it's Friday, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, I think uh, we, we called this title the virtual, you know, pull up, get your virtual cup. Two men in a cup is what we were talking about. And uh, want to welcome yes, uh, the family to uh, Coach Vio DG here talking about things that we talk about. You know, um, it's always going to be spiritual in nature. Uh, and, and and at its most rudimentary level is how do you navigate on this dimension? Because truth be told, there's a lot going on. Man, there is a lot going on. And I posted something uh, on one of the platforms. I said, even though there's a lot going on, Coach B, I still choose where I'm going to give my attention to, you know. And uh, that's a very powerful thing because I, I'm eternally grateful always to you. And before we go forward, I just want to uh, give our heartfelt condolences to uh, the whole Owens family. It's it's a lot, and uh, we know you. your dear brother um, John Owens uh, went on to be with the Lord, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, he made he 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 lived his life, and yeah, he's yeah. He transitioned. So um, we want to dedicate you know it's simple, but. Uh, this broadcast to uh, J John Owens, man, to J.O. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. You know, I mean, it means much, man. Like I said, heartfelt. And, yeah. Uh, you know, heart received as well. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. you and I had conversation. I, it's interesting when when people depart or when they when they finish the course. Paul said it. He said, you know. There's all of us will utter those words either outwardly or inwardly and say, you know, I, I finished the race, mm -hmm. you know, and I love what Paul mm -hmm. said. Paul said, I fought a the good, good fight. fight. He said, mm -hmm. you know what? I fought. It's recognized, man. You ever, you ever, you've seen a good fight, you know, yeah. <laughs> and, you, yeah. man, and you've been in a few, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, but it's he said, I, he, he recognized that what he was sent here to do, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he accomplished. Mm -hmm. And it's a really interesting coach VO that he, I don't believe Paul really awakened to his role and responsibility to what he was sent here to do. If it had not been for the, the experience on, on, on the road to Emmaus, you know, mm -hmm. because, and hey, man, we may just stay there today. You know, this is kind of how we do. We, for folks that don't know, um, we would get, hey, man, what are you doing today? Where are you at? I'd call him. Where are you at? I'm over here at Starbucks. All right, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And we yeah. would grab a cup and uh, and and a pastry, and we would sit for two hours, and we just, this is what we would do. We would just talk, talk, talk. And, um, and there's sometimes where I just feel we have some things that we wanted to discuss, but I just feel there's a leading different coach VO man, just, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. for these next few minutes. And one of them okay. is finishing, finishing your course, finishing the race, man. And, yeah. you know, um, Paul, you know, I love his pedigree talked about, you know, he was born on this tribe of this day and, and uh, he was, he was the man's man. And when it came to the law, he said, I'm blameless. I've studied the Torah. I studied the law, but when he encountered Jesus, hallelujah, yeah. Uh, Coach Fio, when he when he had the encounter uh, yeah. that knocked him off the horse, it yes. changed. It was the trajectory that changed everything, man. Everything, everything. You know, he had that. Uh, I call it the first. You know, that fresh encounter of a first kind. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you know yeah. what I'm saying? When you know, it said when when you know when it pleased the Father you know, who called him by his grace, you know, he said he couldn't confer with flesh and blood. I couldn't confer with my genealogy any longer. Yes. I'm not con couldn't confer with, you know, I'm a, uh, concerning the law, Hebrew of Hebrews, you know, circumcised yeah, he on the eighth yeah, day. Yeah, on the eighth you know, day, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was John O's favorite scripture, my mind you. <laughs> okay, we we you know, are we in there then? Then we in there we then, in right? The vein, man. Okay, I was like, oh, all right. Man, you going there for real, man? <laughs> I was like, okay, we, we, all right. Okay, we in there. Right. We in there, right. man. That was his favorite scripture. You know, he you know, he would say he was a Hebrew of Hebrews. You know what I mean? Yes. yes. Circumcised on the eighth day. His birthday was May yes. the eighth. And you know, so that was his it was that was his thing, you know what I mean? So, you know, 
mine is the seventh day, you know, the seventh month, seventh day. And he was like, no, I'm the fifth month, eighth day. You know, I'm circumcised like Paul on the eighth day. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so we go round and round, uh, you know, back and forth with that man. But again, when, when you finish your assignment yes. in the earth, there's nothing left for you to do. You right. Know, Paul saw it. And he said, man, you know, the time of my departure is at hand. You know, I, yes. I believe you start to recognize the season. I, 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 I so agree with you. I so I so yeah. agree with you. And, you know, to I mean, all of us is interesting because when you get later on in your in your years, in your life on this journey, you things begin to narrow. You know, you begin to focus on really what's important. Amen. And then when you look at you're like, man, I put a lot of attention and effort to something that really wasn't that important. It really begins to narrow down. And and Paul was the gospel, man. He, mm -hmm. he I mean, look, when we're reading the ancient writings, he wrote most of it. And Pretty from a course. New Testament standpoint, yeah, based on his experience, you know, and uh, and so today, you know, coach, it just uh so thankful for your brother for I am thankful to the whole Owens family, man. I went to school with with yeah. your, your 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 nephew and niece and 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 watched the athletes and all of them. But you know what I love about your family, man, is the power that they know their assignments. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. your your family, your sisters, your your brother, they recognizing what they were sent here to do. Amen. That is so powerful, Vio, when we begin to uh, uh, recognize what we were sent here, because everyone has a purpose, man. You know, you and I were discussing this yesterday. It's like, there comes that point, like, there's got to be more to this, mm -hmm. man. There's got to be more, yeah. Come yeah. on. You know, and, and, and you recognize that, you know, that there's so much more, you know, when we start talking about in terms of, you know, universal mind, you know, you know, everybody that, you know, created a picture, you know, the same mind created their picture. Yes. Everybody that preached the message, you know, millions of people preached the message, but they all preached it from the same universal mind flowing through them. You know what I mean? And so yeah. there's, there's, there's nothing, you know, that I was reading, you know, in the Kabbalion, you know, about the three initiatives. Uh, and it, you know, it was really saying, you know, the number one principle, but all is mine. And, you know, when you were talking about, you know, that scripture, you know, as a man, think it, you know what I mean? You know, yes. in his heart, you know what I mean? And so, you know, a man is a culmination of the thoughts that he thinks and the words that come out of his mouth and how he feels, you know? And so, you know, <clears throat> what's in our world you know, we play a key part in it, you know, and for years, you know, I didn't know that, you know, I didn't know we were constantly creating, and, you know, you know, I thought, you know, things were happening. I was in reaction mode and, you know, until, you know, <clears throat> it was shown to me, you know, through proper mentorship, through trials and tribulation, man, that, you know, there are certain things, man, that, uh, you know, that are on the inside, you know, and guys, you know, Man looks at the outward appearance, man, but God looks, he peeps in from, you know, peeps out from within. Correct. And, and uh, you know, it's just a powerful piece, man. We were talking about this scripture here. Was, I think you and I we were discussing even this yesterday. Yeah. And that Proverbs is for, as a, you know, this is so powerful because none of us can escape this. You know, it's not what a man saith in his heart, it's what he's thinking. Well, not what a, it's not what a man saith that word. It's what he's yeah. thinking in his heart. So is he, man. And mm -hmm. none of us, listen, none of us can get around that. Right. You know, I I'm, I love to keep things as simple as possible. And I love to tell folks, listen, your outward world, your external world, your experiences, they are a culmination of everything that you've been thinking inwardly. Mm -hmm. And it may not manifest quickly. You may not see it quickly. You may... It may it may take a while because there's different seas and different seas take seasons and times to germinate. But when you really begin to awaken to this, because this has to go back to what is my purpose? What was I sent here to do? Absolutely. You know, you're not just living aimlessly, wondering about aimlessly. You are now living. There's a difference between living purposefully on mm -hmm. purpose, consciously. Mm -hmm. And then I love what you just said. 
reactionary mode. Like yeah. you're like a pinball machine. You just you're bouncing up against everything. Mm -hmm. But this law here, that proverb is, you know, you you peep me game on universal laws and principles. That's a law. Yeah. That's it says a law. For, for as he thinketh in his heart, he's that. So is you know? he. Mm -hmm. So is he. Right. And uh it's so key because when you begin to awaken to the power of Oh, or you begin to listen, man, that internal voice that's mm -hmm. always speaking. It's never not speaking. That's right. The internal you and you is always speaking in that internal you and you is creating. And then you watch how things come together. Like right now, there's a supposedly shortage uh, on these microchips with this or these different chips with automobile industry. If you're ever watching assembly line, you watch how things come together. They don't just all of a sudden snap to place. There's different things that have to happen, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and rest assured that it's going to come together. Yeah. See, the, the automotive, you know, Ford created the assembly line or maybe he didn't. Maybe he stole it from someone, but it got created, right? Correct. <laughs> And those pieces all come together. Same thing like our life, man. They're going to come together. Yeah, man. It, you know, it just amazes me, man. You know, I said, I've never seen a man doing wrong, thinking right. Right. And right. I've never seen a man thinking right, doing wrong. You know, you know, we can't escape, you know, the, uh, the fact that we are what we think, you know. He said, man is, you know, you know, what he thinks about all day long, you know, uh, uh, the, the strangest secret, the Earl Nightingale, you know, oh. I mean, I've listened to that thing for countless hours. Oh, man. my gosh. And, you know, my I mean, gosh. Right. just, right. And, you know, just to hear, right. you know, even statistically, right. you know, out of 100 people, X amount of many people will retire. Only only three of them will become financially independent out of, right. you know, why? Because of what they are thinking. Right. And it's, it's, it, it, it's a direct correlation, you know, to whoever guides the thoughts of a person, you know, rules that person, you know. And, you know, I'm so glad that, that we get to uh, begin to broadcast ourselves and begin to broadcast our own thoughts and begin to, yes. you know, yes. to culminate and create, you know. I mean, there's no competition for a creator. When you're creating, you know, when you're in creative mode, you know, it says, you know, there could be uh, a billion people and say here paint this particular picture uh uh this picasso but nobody can duplicate the picasso but picasso That's you know it. it's amazing you know uh and it just goes to show that our uniqueness we're uniquely qualified to 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 live this life and you don't have to be a carbon copy of somebody else you know you can be free to be free to be me you know i'm free to be me you know what i mean and and so and grateful, you know, of, you know, that expression of the universal mind through you. But, uh, you know, I kind of, you know, like I said, you know, it's amazing how you begin to discover the things about yourself. And, you know, you know, what your contribution is to, to this uh, society as a whole. And you play a vital part. You know, this is a thinking man's uh, yes. uh, society. You know, it's going to yes. be guided by thought. You know, the rulers are are going to be guided by thought, you know, the thought leaders. And, you know, that's why it's key, man, to find, and you know, and get into think tanks and find ways to really stimulate your thought processes, you know, and, and make your thoughts original and understand that, you know, there's there's nothing new under the sun, you know, it's all, all been done. And what you're planning on doing, what you're looking for is looking for you. And, you know, you know, when you get about that and start to understand that and say, hey, man, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actively creating or deliberately creating, you know, I, I, I agree in being intentional, but, you know, at some point you got to hone in. Uh, my sister and I were talking last night and on, you know, yeah. we we're talking about, you know, how the plane flies and if a plane crashes, you know, the FAA is looking for something they're, they're looking for that black box and right. and in that black box there are things that are recorded on there that you know it tells about you know what's what's taking place you know what were the last coordinates you know what were what, what was the conversation going on what was the climate like were they tense were they 
you know, where they, you know, were in inclement weather, you know, what it was like, you know, what was it going on? It's recorded on the black box, you know, and, you know, we all have a black box in our lives. I, I, I believe that that, you know, uh, super conscious mind is, is where it's all recorded at. All the data is there, you know, and we can begin to call forth and find out, you know, what were the coordinates of this life? Why was this life this way? You know, what was going on, you know, inside your life? What were you thinking? You know, it's being recorded right now. You know, I mean, you're being guided by what's been, uh, you know, it never sleeps. Never. You never. Know, you know, never. you got the, you know, you got the conscious mind, you have the subconscious mind, you got the super conscious. Yeah. And man, that's the one that, you know, that's on automatic pilot. It's constantly guiding, leading, guiding you, you know, into all truth. You know, whatever it's going to, it doesn't care if it's real or fake. You know, whatever gets recorded on that black box, <laughs> you, know, you know, it's on there. It's yes. going to reflect inside your life. So be careful, you know, about your associations. Be be cognizant about, you know, what you what you what you put in, you know, 20 minutes before you go to bed. And when you first wake up in that alpha state, you know, it's like, hey, you know, you want to make sure that you're getting the right coordinates, you know, to get you from, you know, your departure to your arrival, you know, wherever you're going, because we're always going in and out. We're departing from one place and we're arriving at another place. You know, I left where I was and I had to get here. You know, I was like yeah. running, scrambling, but I was like, hey, I'm on my way, you know, and, uh, you know, you have to get to where you're going, man. So it's very, very powerful, uh, Donald Gibbs. You know, and I love it because um, I can hear the such passion with ease, meaning like, hey, I've been saying the same thing over and over and over. And I can have this conversation with one person. I can have it with 100 people and I can do it all day long. Why? Yeah. Because this is my life. I live this right here. And one of the things is we all are moving. You know, what you are experiencing now is nothing but past thoughts that created. You know, Amen. your now is not really your now. Your now, your now is just an experience of everything that your past thoughts, your past actions, and your past movement are materializing right in front of you right now. You know, you said something or while you were talking, I was thinking about something and and not really fully understanding because I I have adopted a bunch of at one point in time, phrases or what I thought were cool phrases like, you know, hey, I'm so broke, I can't pay attention. You know, mm. not really, not really understanding like, man, why is it that I never have uh, the amount that I need to do the things that I desire to do? I'm forgetting, you know, hey, what I at one point in time was receiving a paycheck, it would be every time I get paid, I'm always broke. Well, you know what, Vincent? Every time I got paid, guess what I always was? Broke. Yeah. You know, eventually that brokenness was was right there. You know, I was yeah. like, oh, I, after I finished paying all these bills, I'm never going to have any money. And I never had any money. You know, oh, you know, what's going on? Oh, man, you know, I'm so broke. I can't pay attention. Oh, that's so, you know, we say that. That's so cool. Yeah, I get it, bro. People are like, yeah, me too, me too. Which now what? There's a law of agreement. They're co-signing and assigning themselves to those words that were created. And when I really began to slow things down, because that's that proverb, life and death are in the power of the tongue. Amen. When I began to see the words that I was echoing, I mean, because there was a, a feeling associated with lack. Wow. <laughs> you know, there is a there is a feeling associated with, with lack. And um, I was experiencing that. And when we had the opportunity it says, man, I need to begin to change my language. I need to begin to change how I see myself. I need to begin to create, have a transformation mm -hmm. because I'm not always broke. I mean, we don't even use those words now. It's like, I mean, you know, they, yeah. they're far, they're as far as the East to the West, oh, you know? And, and when I hear folks, it's not from a state of judgmental. I always stop and say, Hey, did you hear what you just said? Did you hear what you just said? You mm -hmm. know? And, uh, they came out with this other phrase is like the struggle is real. Okay, so you know, and when I when I when I when I heard that, I hear people and you know, type people would type and put on Facebook everything. I mean, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. And I I wanted to say, well, it's not real, but I understand because it's real to you. Right. See, it's real to them, but yeah. they can change that real. That reality is nothing but a result of thoughts and words that were spoken. Amen. But think about it this way too. You know, I mean, I mean, you don't have to guide guide me on this. 
but you know, it takes the same amount of energy to say, uh, uh, large sums of money comes unto me easily and quickly <laughs> in increasing quantities from multiple sources on a continuous basis. And the best interest of all, I get to keep it. Yes. Large sums of money comes unto me easily and quickly in increasing quantities from multiple sources on a continuous basis. And the best interest of all, I get to keep it. To keep it. Now, yes. it didn't take me any more time to say, you know, the struggle is, I mean, you know, you know, and, you know, there's a feeling that comes with that, you know, you know, and I was uh, yeah. talking to people, you know, um, I was sharing <laughs> with a colleague this morning right. and, and said, people think suffering is, is this downtrodden feeling and really, you know, what it really meant, Jesus gave us a perfect illustration and he said, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not right for such is the kingdom of heaven now he's saying right. just like these children uh that word suffer what it meant in the greek term means allow it to be so be permitted permit, permit it to be you know yes allow yes. this 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 challenge to develop you not to destroy yes. you yes. you know allow it to come you know and and when we begin to do that uh donald Givens, you know dg affectionately called dg you know it's just like man it's amazing that what will happen when you start to change your 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 speech and your vernacular and begin to think and feel what you're saying and when you see yourself you know in large sums of money you know, coming unto me easily. I don't care what it looks like to other people. I know that I'm full of that feeling. Yes. I'm full. Yes. You know, I was like, and, and man, you know, there's a, there's a, a thinking stuff that permeates and penetrates all, you know, that, you know, yes. you know, yes. and, and so when you understand that, that, I mean, we live in, uh, you know, a uh, ocean of motion. And man, these things, man, are just all around us. Abundance is around us everywhere we, but we tap into those, those lack thoughts, you know, those broke thoughts. And, you know, we've been cultivated by them. And uh, I was watching a, a segment called, you know, how money became worthless. It's on YouTube. You can pull it up, man. And I mean, it's a good, you know, something that, you know, people should just grab a hold of because, you know, this economy as we know it, if you blow so much hot air into a balloon, eventually you keep blowing yes. hot air into it, right? What's going to happen? It's going to pop. I mean, it's going to pop, you know, it's going to burst, you know, yeah. and this economy cannot continue to keep, uh, you know, printing money uh, over and over and blowing hot air to the people, you know, a sacred smug cow, you know, feeding the general public a steady line of bull you yes. know just blowing hot air you know eventually that thing is going to pop you know your local banks as you know it today you know they're going to drastically change your central banks you know the, the the system as we know it is is shifting and changing don't don't uh listen to what the billionaires are saying pay attention and watch what they're, what they're doing doing exactly you know we're not human beings we're I mean, you know what I mean? I, we're human doings, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, and man, you know, people are doing some things, man, and it's creating a certain type of reality. And when you, you know, how you do anything is how you do everything, you know? And when you so begin true. to change the way you look at things, the things, things you look at will change. change man. You yes, know, sir. that is so, that is so true. You know, again, keeping it really simple, when you begin, because there was an inward change that needs to take place always. They always the, the really the work is the inward change. You know, you yeah. talked about struggle, you know, suffer. When we really understand the power of suffering, it isn't suffer to destroy, but it's suffering to develop. Amen. See, normally when you're going through something uh, and, and, and someone's listening today or you'll listen to this and this may be the piece. You know, this may be the that one thing like, oh, you know what? I need to start seeing it different. What if I saw suffering different? What if I saw uh, a banking institution different? What if I begin to see 
so many things different. When I begin to see it different, things around me begin to change. Because typically if someone's suffering, like, man, they're just like, here's a conversation. You know, the devil's messing, all hell's breaking loose. And you know what? I don't feel like I, I'd be like, God, where are you? And the devil's attacking me and things are never going right in my life. That's a typical conversation. Mm-hmm. You're like, really? Mm-hmm. Versus the resistance, the, the struggle brings definition and strength. You know, oh, the scripture says, therefore, uh, submit, therefore, to God, resist the devil and he will flee from him. So therefore, what the, we, we're, we're so focused on the on, on the devil attacking. How about we go into uh, sub, the submission of God? You know, and so someone's going through something today, but you don't have to stay stuck there. That's nothing new, V. People preach on that. You know, if you're going through, you have to stay stuck there. But when you're in the midst of it, what is your language? What is Ooh. the conversation? You know, yeah. when, you, when you're going through, most folks will talk about other, talk to people that are going through and their conversation is going to be, you know, it's not going to be the most healthiest conversation. <laughs> They're going to agree right with you. You know what I mean? They're going like, to agree. You know, yeah. Yeah. You know, you're absolutely right. And then when you're able to, you know, shift someone's consciousness and shift that conversation, oh. you know, yeah. and say, I understand what you mean, but, you know, what, what if you were to, you know, get a new language in the midst of that? What if you were to be able to look at it this way? And, you know, and man, you, you start to see people, you know, come out of those, those, I mean, I'm, I'm one of the, you know, like I said, you know, one of the chief apostles, man, you know, you know, when it came down to poverty, man, I had a PhD and, you know, <laughs> povertyology, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, right. Right. you know, nobody broke than me, you know what I mean? I was like, you know, you know, it, it, it had a whole, you know, temporary, but I understood that that was just a temporary situation. Yes. And, you know, if banks can create money out of thin air. Thin air now. Check that out. And then charge you usury for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, man, I mean, hand over fist. You know, Bill Clinton actually signed a bill, no pun intended, for deregulation of banks. Right. And it gave them a license to wreak havoc. Right. It gave him a license to print. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and in 2008, you know, President Obama actually passed another bill, you know, to bail them out in their irresponsible fashion. Right. Now, now you can say one or two things, you know, or whatever, you know, whatever you think. But, you know, there's a big game out here, you know. You know, there's the game of life. And when you know how to play it, when you start to understand the rules, man, to govern, you know, the game of life, man, you know, you'll learn how to play it. You know, I mean, I can remember when I first picked up a basketball, you know, and how uncoordinated I was and how uncomfortable the game was. Ball hit me in the lip and, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. Somebody threw the ball at me and, you know, and, man, I was traveling at the same time, you know, taking the ball and, boy, I traveled. They said he walked them out of Mississippi. You know, I had on a pair of Kedzos. You know what I mean? They only cost a dollar eighty nine. You know what I mean? And slid halfway across the court. You know, and you know I was the buddy of every joke. You know, but by being out there, you know, you start to learn the rules. You know, yes. the people who know yes. how to play, man. No, you can't do that. That's traveling. You know, you know, yes. you know that's a foul. You know that. You know, you start to pick it up and you put it in that database and put it in that memory yes. and keep playing yes. it. Before you know it, after a while, they was like, hey, you know, I want him on my team, you know. Right. And, uh, you know, same thing goes, you know, in this game of life, man. You know, yes. you know teams are being selected right now. Teamwork does make the dream work. You're going it to be make the dream work. Uh, yeah. as successful as the team that produced you. Yes. I love what you just said. Like when you began something, it was so un- uncoordinated. You know what? And yeah, you were the butt of the jokes, but you didn't quit. No. You know, you didn't quit. I'm going to keep coming back. I'm going to keep coming back. I'm going to keep coming back. And then, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. Mm-mm. Like, I, re- I remember sitting with you and I said, hey, man, when, when, when did you get this? Like, and now I'm living. I'm like, there was not a day you got it. It wasn't today the day you're going to wake up. It's yeah. a continual progression yeah. of one, don't quit. Amen. You know, and Amen. the other thing is 
careful on speaking your current situation. See, a person, for example, they could, we know the 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 gyms and and those and those those institutions, they're gonna go crazy starting uh, December 31st, December 25th, all the way up until the end of January. And people will begin, you know, on their nutrition or the health and everything else. They know how to they know how to put that all out there. But by February, people that have been going to gym, they said, don't worry, they're gonna quit. They're gonna quit the second week in February, then everything will go back the way it was. And then a few of them, God bless you, a few of them will continue. But one of the keys is don't quit, man. You never quit. You never quit. And I never, I, I don't speak my current situation. You know what? The problem sometimes is when you begin to make this transformation, things appear to be moving very slowly around you. And that's that's where I was headed. Things ap appear to be moving slowly, but there's that working taking place. The Lord's doing great work, but it's just not showing you in the physical you know there's greater in the natural there's greater in the spiritual dimension that's taking place and then the natural is always last man it always manifests last and so one of the keys is don't quit something else is careful with your language watch what you're going to say watch what you, the words that you are choosing and then careful who you're speaking to because a lot of folks whether conscious or unconscious they will co-sign on the craziness around you, you know, because that's what they're experiencing in their life. And we typically hang around people that think like us, you know. <laughs> you know, it's comfortable, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, they say, man, if you're the smartest one in the room, man, you, you need to the, leave that room. You, you need to room. leave the room, right. You know, you're in the wrong room. And, you right. know, you want to surround yourself with people who are smarter than you. You know, yes. I, mean, I don't need to be the, you know, sharpest tool in the shed. Right. You know, I just need to know where the pairing knives are. You understand what I mean? And so, and <clears throat> those are the kind of people who, you know, you want to engage into the mission. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, you know, everybody's here for a purpose and an assignment, you know, but you want to engage, you know, your new uh, found uh, people around the mission surround them around the mission and give them an assignment and let them be creative with it. You know, move out oh of the way, goodness. you know, and that's going to yeah. free up time for you, you know, to yes. really create, man. And, you know, to hone in on the vision, man, uh, and the mission that, that, that God's given you to, uh, you know, to, to bring forth, you know, and it's, and it's, a uh, it's a powerful piece, man. There is. Cause there's so much when you, when you are really moving in the state of creating, you know, there's something you always say, we've been created by the creator to create. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, you've been created by the creator. Your DNA is creating, you know, and, you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, what is, what is, it seems to be the antithesis to that is like when you become stagnant, you don't want to move, you become common. But when you're creating, man, your juices get flowing. It's like things begin to move even what appears to be quicker around you things, people coming in, you're hearing conversations. And and I challenge, you know, I don't normally like to throw out a challenge, but I challenge, here's a question, what are you creating? What are you working on? You know, this platform here, this was a creation, like, hey V, you know, we got things that we're gonna be working on, even even the greater, but you start somewhere. somewhere. You start Absolutely. somewhere creating. Um, hey, before we go, and there was, what helped me was reading. Uh, you mentioned Earl Nightingale. Yeah. Uh, and you mentioned that to me. I'm like, who's yeah. Earl Nightingale? I didn't, I couldn't tell Earl Nightingale if it was a bird or what have you. <laughs> but when I begin to listen to him here, yeah. yes, I read the Bible. Yes, I read the ancient word. I read, I, I yes, I know scriptures. But there are, there's sometimes you can, you can read something that it puts things, it helps you like, oh, okay, I see it in there. I see Earl Nightingale's writings in the ancient text now. Absolutely. You know, yeah. And so today, listen, I, I, there's another gentleman that I'm, I'm mentoring and I, I sending these books. I, you know, I just did the, the four agreements and he said, man, he just, he texted me. I, I spent two days on this. I'm like, yeah, change your life. But here's an author, Earl Nightingale. It's old. You know, you can YouTube him. You can, you can listen on the audio. You can, I don't know if you can get a hard copy, but you have to, find 
my suggestion would be Earl Nightingale. And here's something else. Whenever I'm listening to someone, when they mention an author, I write that author down. Mm -hmm. Because those are simple nuggets. Like he'll mention someone, I'll write it down. And then I'm going to go get that book. I'll go get it. At least I'm beginning to establish my own mental and physical library. So today, if you're a reader, if not, I mean, our lives are moving, moving, moving. You can YouTube Earl Nightingale. You can audio book up when you're working out, when you're doing dishes, when you're driving to work. Listen, I know I'm talking a lot, but most of the time when we're driving to work, we're listening to the to the, the weak radio comedy radio station. That's not adding nothing to you. <laughs> it's not adding nothing to you. Here's something like, okay, treat your life like a balance sheet. Either it's adding or taking away. Amen. You know, That's good. You know, like treat it. your life like a balance sheet. <laughs> it's like either that. adding, what is adding? Like relationships. If relationships not really, if it's a take, 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 I want to be around takers. So yeah. I love my man VO. It's always adding. Whenever I leave a conversation, I feel like, man, I, I feel like I, I didn't deposit enough into him. This brother would be dropping gold. Treat your life like a balance sheet. Treat it like a balance sheet. Take a look at it. my relationships, friendships, what I call friendships, my my money. It it all is it adding or taking away from you? Mm, that's good. You know, is it adding? Yes, I can't say we don't watch TV because we do watch some TV. But I don't spend eight, nine hours on the T on the tube because that's taking away from me, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, it's Ooh. taking away. It's taking away. It's taking away. Are you in relationships? Look at look at your relationship. Look at the people that you're hanging around. I mean, don't have to announce that you're doing it. Just look like, do are they are they takers or are they depositing into me? Ooh. I mean, because after you, if you deposit ten dollars in the into a bank account, you can't withdraw eleven dollars. They'd be like, sir, it's, uh, it's, that's NSF. You don't have no more fun. That's non-sufficient funds, man. You don't have the funds for it. Oh, man. I'll let you close this, Coach. Hey, man. You know, like I say, man, you know, uh, I mentioned earlier, I said, how you do anything is how you do everything. You know, when you begin to be <clears throat> cognizant of the steps that you're taking, you know, the way that you walk, the way you talk, you know, who you associate yourself to, you know, you know, yes. how you invest your time. You know, we don't spend time any longer. You know, we invest yes. time. Truth. And, you know, we can redeem time. We can get return on time because, you know, we're watchmen. You know, we know how, you know, we know how time works, man. Oh and, gosh. you know, time waits for no man. You know, the calendar is unforgiving, you know. And so, you know, all you really have is now. So I would, I would admonish you, you know, today, you know, take this information that you're hearing today, you know, make it a applicable to your life, you know, find a yeah. way to apply direct pressure. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, they taught us in the military, you know, you know, when there's there's a gurgling sucking wound, you know, in somebody, man, don't just let the blood flow out, you know, find the apply. tourniquet and apply direct pressure. Okay. And guys, that's what I'm going to share with you guys today, man. Take this information as a tool, as a tourniquet, and apply direct pressure to your life. You know, wherever you're ailing at, wherever there's leakage, wherever there's, you know, hemorrhaging going on, don't just let it continue to flow, man. You know, life is in the blood, you know. You yes. want to apply some direct pressure yes. to that particular area, be it finances, yes. be it relationship, be it, you know, job, be it, uh, you know, parenting, you know, whatever it is, you know, be it, you know, entrepreneurship, whether it's the boardroom or the bathroom, I don't care where it is. Yes. Apply the red pressure. Yeah. Back over to you, coach. Hey, um, so Kay and I, people don't know, we do a cycling class, and um, our instructor uh, had moved on. So Kay, and we go every Monday, Wednesday. So Kay was like, Donald, you should be the instructor. I'm like, oh, man, I can't. I don't, I'm like, inwardly, I was like, I'm like, no, but Aaron's like, I can't do that. You know, I don't want to get up there. And that's my internal. She didn't hear the internal. But what she heard with me says, like, nah, I, you know, nah, it's all right. I'm just going to ride. But inwardly, I was like, no, nah, I can't do that. And I, the reason I say that, because it creeps in so easily. And, and then we were, we stopped at one of our local stores here. And she said, Donna, would you please? No, this is what I first told her. I'll think about that. That usually is, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> I'll think about that. Because that internal voice, V, for real, true, transparency, yeah, yeah. it was like, no, you can't, man. Uh -uh. You know, you don't have enough. You, bro, just ride. You get it right. And you don't need to. You know, you don't need to try because then you got to lead. Not, that's not what you really, it's not, you, you, you don't know enough. 
well, I was having that internal struggle. And when yeah. I begin to catch that thief, Dio, yeah. and Kay, I, she looked back in the car. She said, would you please think about it? I caught that thief, man. I said, you know what? I can do it. I said, well, I can do it. I ride the bikes anyway. I know, you know, we swear. I love doing them. I love cycling. But I'm like, I can do it. And uh, I got an appointment. As soon as we get off of here, I got to go meet with him. Say, so, you know, I'm a, I'll be the Monday instructor. You yeah. know, but <laughs> thank you, sir. Yeah. But I caught that thief that was telling me what I can't do. Wow. You know, none of us are immune from it. It it doesn't stop. It will, no. you know. So when we talk about creating and we talk about challenges, you know, it is it doesn't stop. I'm like, I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna challenge, I'm gonna make it fun. So we're about to rock it, man. Thank you so yes, much for your wisdom. Thank you for the nuggets, the gold you drop, and you guys, and we'll see you next Friday, okay? Peace and blessings up to you, Coach V. I love you, man. And again, our heartfelt condolences to you. And uh, I know it's going to be a beautiful celebration uh, this coming for for J.O. All right, man. Yeah, Yeah, we're going to celebrate a life. All right, peace and blessings. On to you. Peace.